In this module, we'll discuss what defines a product as a medical device in the eyes of the FDA. We'll also go over the importance of proper device classification before moving on to the different classifications and then finally how they're classified. Step 1 is device classification. The way the FDA classifies your product lays the groundwork and determines the number and complexity of requirements of the rest of the process. This page displays the official recognized definition directly from Section 201H of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. As you can see, it's very precise. The short version, a medical device is something used to diagnose, cure, treat, mitigate, or prevent a disease. It is also used in restoring, correcting, or modifying a body function. The United States divides medical devices into three classifications, Class 1, 2, and 3. The classification depends on a number of factors, including how similar it is to an existing device. Obviously, the higher the classification, the more it is regulated. The classification of medical devices is initially determined on its intended use, indications for use, and the risk to the patient or user. Class 1 devices represent the lowest level of risk as they are not complicated to operate. Examples of Class 1 devices include a scalpel or a scale. Class 2 represent a higher amount of risk as improper operation or a malfunction of the device could lead to injury. Examples include some hospital beds and an IF stimulator. Class 3 are the high-risk devices, as a device failure, user error, or even implementation could result in a fatality. Examples include a pacemaker or a heart valve. The entire process of bringing your device to market can be long and arduous, so it's crucial to get it right the first time. Improper classification can cost you a significant amount of money and delay the introduction of your device into the market. Also, when a new device is classified, it lays the groundwork by which other similar devices are compared. The FDA uses a system that compares all device applications to devices already cleared for sale in the U.S. Therefore, it's very important for you to identify similar devices already cleared by the FDA using the Product Classification Database. This is a central repository of all registered medical devices. Using this database, you can compare and contrast your product to determine its classification. Here's how it works. From the FDA's homepage, just click the Medical Devices tab and then find the Tools and Resource section on the right-hand side of the page and then click Medical Device Databases. Scroll down and select Product Classification. Next, input a general description or product type in the search field, then click Search. For example, Electrocardiograph. A list of devices matching your search criteria comes up. Just select a similar device to yours. This one should do the trick. Clicking it brings up the device type page where we can look at an overview of the device type which includes the regulation number, recognized standards which we'll discuss in a later module, guidance documents, and other helpful information. The next thing you want to do is click the registration number link. Read the description at the bottom of the page. If it is a clear match to your product, you're good to go. Notice the device classification is stated at the end. Now I know that based on the matching description in the database, my electrocardiograph is a class 2 device. That brings us to the end of this section. We discussed the definition of a medical device and how important proper classification is. We then took a look at the distinctions between classes and how you go about determining your device's classification. In our next module, we'll examine quality management systems.